Well, Fairbanks is a very unique, uh, unique organization within our league. We have tremendous community support, and we obviously really appreciate that. It's kind of a, a different story when we go on the road. Uh, you know, no one travels further than we do or has the travel itinerary that we do when we go on the road. So um, we have some hurdles, but um, it's, uh, it's a great place to play, and we've been fortunate to have some success over the last uh, six or seven years. Every year is different. You have a new group of kids, uh, but they all have the same goals. They want to play college hockey, so you just kind of have to um, go about it in different ways every single year to try to, you know, get the guys to buy in and ultimately get better and have an opportunity to play Division One hockey. Yeah, basically being where we're at, we can't leave any stone unturned. We've got to make sure that we're getting as many players into our pool as possible and, and figuring out which players is the right fit to bring up to Fairbanks. Well, we want to get into the playoffs. We want to uh, have a better year than we did last year with our development and moving players on to college hockey. And, and you know, every year we want to win the Robertson Cup. Well, we have, I think, 14 veterans. So um, I think a lot of them are, are pretty good players or all of them are pretty good players. And I think uh, time will tell and see who put in the work over the off season and is going to take that next step. Yeah, it's exciting. The player actually this year is from my hometown. So I've known him for, you know, six or seven years. but. Uh, it's it's great. To, I mean, that's every player's goal or dream is to get drafted in the NHL and to have that happen two years in a row and them both being skaters. I think it's, uh, it's, it's a really neat, especially for the Fairbanks community. It's just an incredible uh, number just to, to see where the league's come since I've been in it over six years. Um, I expect that number to go up and it's, it's uh, kind of fun to see where the league's heading. I don't know, we'll see. I think we have a strong group coming back and if some things fall into place we can make a run for it.